It's game two tonight between the Redbirds and the Rangers. The skies are clearing. It's turned out to be a beautiful night here at Bush Stadium. Two veteran right-handers getting after it. We start with Lance Lynn. He's been pitching great of late. He really has the last two outings for Lance. Got right back where he needed to be. And look, that's what you need him to do. Get deep into ball games. Give you an opportunity. Hot day. Out early would be a nice thing for Lance Lynn and the Cardinals. Ground ball to the shortstop. That's fielded by Wynn, who throws out Josh Smith. That's the way our game begins. So Lance Lynn, a 2-2 count for Seeger, and that one driven towards center. And Siani retreats and makes a nice running catch. That's your second out. The pitch. There's a ball popped into short right field. Long run in. Lars Newtbar, he's there. He has it. One, two, three for the Rangers, and the Cardinals are coming up at Bush Stadium. And we face a future Hall of Famer, one of the game's best, Max Scherzer tonight. Max Scherzer making his eighth start of this season. You know there's a little something extra when he comes home. First pitch, built it toward left. Leg for back, it's a leadoff homer for Mason Wynn. That's a fun way to start a big league game. Not the homecoming present Max Scherzer was looking for. First pitch fastball jumped on it for the young Mason Wynn, his seventh of the season. Mason Wynn was six years old when Max Scherzer made his major league debut with Arizona. I'm not sure if Mason Wynn has smiled yet about this, but that's a moment right there. Scherzer back to work. Grips this one at first, but a nice play by Lowe. The gold glover flips to Scherzer, and there's one away in the bottom of the first. It's a 2 2 count on Contreras with Newt Bar to follow. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a slow ground ball to first again. Lowe scoops it up and the lobs under him to Scherzer. And there are two outs. Another one to first. Nathaniel Lowe tells Max Scherzer, I got this one. Don't worry about it. The Rangers trying to play from behind. They had to do it last night. They did it successfully. And try and do it here again tonight. Langford yesterday, a three-hit performance. He's had some, some great stretches, especially in the last five or six weeks. I think for him, it's, it's a matter of just minimizing those valleys. Well, how about that? Don't minimize that. It's out to left. Burleson at the wall. It's gone. Wyatt Langford wastes no time. The rookie for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn, with a homer. And Wyatt Langford says, hold on, you're not the only rookie in town. He stayed at the plate for a moment and uh, admired that one. It went 373 feet at 107 miles an hour. Pretty high launch angle. In fact, it kind of reminds me of the arch that we're looking at <laughs> out beyond the center field wall. Well, just moments ago, the 2024 Major League Baseball trade deadline has passed. But maybe the biggest move for Texas just cost them some pay and that's the return of Josh Young activated yesterday and we finally get to see this guy back in the lineup tonight. The 2 1 is a hard hit ball face knock out into center field. Siani over to pick it up low stops at second Josh Young gets right back on the horse hits for him in all five games he's played this season. Rangers have runners at first and second with one out for Jonah Hahn. Two on two outs 21 pitches for Lance in the inning. He's facing his sixth batter. The pitch is swung on and missed. 2001 strikeouts now for Lynn who fans Tavares leaving two on. Max Scherzer born here in St. Louis. This is essentially his hometown and he has pitched well in this ballpark. In fact he's pitched very well. The one two swing and a miss. He struck him out. First strikeout for Scherzer tonight and that brings up Matt Carpenter. This one lifted left side long run Langford and Young who's going to get there. Langford at the line can't corral it. That's a fair ball. And Carpenter never stopped running. He'll stand at second with a blue double. Credit the hustle. That is Bermuda Triangle ball right here. You've got everybody converging on it. Langford's got a long way to go, but he's coming in. That ball is in fair territory. When it touches his glove, drops in fair territory. And Carpenter's got himself a double here with one out. So now Brandon Crawford. Why is he playing tonight? Well, like Carpenter last night against Avaldi, this guy has enjoyed facing Max Scherzer. Which is a weird thing to say, to yeah, be right. totally honest. <laughs> Line in a right field. The Cardinals will take the lead. Crawford around first on his way to second. The throw comes in. It's a touch late. Will make it seven for 19 now career for Brandon Crawford against Max Scherzer. The big RBI double and again another first pitch fastball that the Cardinals jump on. This one shot right down the line. Here's the pitch to Gorman. Gets him with the fastball. Scherzer with career strikeout 3,402. Scherzer looks back to second as he said and now comes home. And a swing and a miss. 
Struck him out with a fastball again near the top of the zone. So all three outs via the strikeout here in the second. But the Cardinals regain the lead on back-to-back doubles by Carpenter and Crawford. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Newt Bar at the plate. Runner goes, pitch is hammered down the line. That's going to head to the corner. That's going to roll to the wall. Burleson around third. He's going to score. Newt Bar with a two-out double, and the Cardinals extend their lead. The quick hands of Lars Newbar showing up yet again and extending the lead for the Redbirds. We've got a new man on the bump. It's the lefty Cody Bradford making his return. Hey, a bunt try, lefty, lefty. I love it. Infield hit for Siani. Mason Wynn advances Siani 90 feet away, and now Burleson gets to work lefty, lefty. The pitch to Alec is swung on ground ball, right side, right field, base hit. The Cardinals have a 4-1 to lead as Siani scores. Oh, did the Cardinals manufacture a run here in the fifth against reliever Cody Bradford. Singles by Siani, Burleson, and Contreras. On three and two, two outs. The pitch is outside, ball four, and Tommy Pham will walk to the plate in his return to the Cardinals here. Check out this greeting. A ball and two strikes, a Cardinal at every base. And I don't care if you're a wide-eyed rookie, I don't care if you're a 10-year veteran, your first game back with a new team at the deadline was something to play for. The heart is beating. Driven toward the gap, right center field. That ball is going to be gone. A grand slam for Tommy Fan. Holy cow. Well, I don't know how you top that. You don't. Welcome back, Tommy Fan. Eight to one, St. Louis, a pinch hit grand slam for Tommy Pham. And Oliver Marmo keeps pushing the right buttons in this series. I mean, you could not have scripted that any better. Just perfect. And there's the curtain call. Bradford faces Crawford now. Brandon Crawford pops one up. And that one's going to drop. Bradford was there. He was called off, and Crawford is aboard as the Rangers are imploding in the fifth inning. We saw a similar pop-up off the bat of Jonah Heim that Lance Lynn was able to catch. And I don't know if it was a lack of a jump or just a miscommunication. But the Cardinals batted around and they lead 8-1 to one over the Rangers. This one easy to summarize tonight. It's been all Cardinals. And Kyle Leahy comes on to pitch the ninth. This one rope toward left. And coming on is Burleson, a terrific sliding catch. That was not an easy play, the old Adam ball. But Alec with good closing speed slid and made it look easy. The Cardinals are one out away from winning for the fifth time in 17 games that have counted in interleague play. All time against the Rangers. Ground ball right side of the infield from the outfield grass. Gorman gets to it and throws out low for a Redbird winner. Light up the night. This was a fun night tonight. We had the Cardinals a chance to wrap up the series with a series win tomorrow.